Welcome, welcome if you're a new subscriber. We're using this gorgeous fire glass. I got it online with one of my pouring buddies. Uh, we bought a whole lot and we think the glass bits are a bit big for what we really desire, but nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and use it. And I'm just showing you how it looks with the resin mixed into it. How luscious is it and eye-catching. So I'm showing you the plan. The plastic's down, a nice firm plastic, and it's going to be a circle. And off we go. Getting that, getting those fire glass bits that have been mixed up in with resin down into a circle. And of course, I, I think this is the fiddliest part of the whole process. And really, it's quite easy. So just arranging it all into the desired pattern um, and by the way, everyone, this is a Sue Findlay inspiration. Don't we just love making her um, concepts? You know, the resin bowl that she brought in such a, a while ago now, as well as the bent resin. I make so many of them, really enjoy doing it. So my circle's down, as you can see, and who knows what I've gone off to do. You know I'm well known for just walking off in the middle of a video. I really probably should um, cut this out. I'm back. That was 28 seconds I cut out. Anyway, you know it's sped up times three. I'm putting down my clear resin. Let's get back to the topic. And down it goes and I've gone to the other side because I realise um, I forgot that I'm actually making two at the same time. So now I'm just putting the uh, clear down on the other piece that I'm doing. Now I'm back concentrating on this one and off I go making sure that all the clear's in and I start putting my silver around the edges and you know you can make whatever design you like. This is the funnest part just getting your colors in and getting your colors down and mixing them up and having f heaps of fun just really just getting in there and being creative. The colors that I chose were silver and a beautiful beautiful green um I can't remember the name of it and a uh, white and they were all color passion colors really really pretty colors I was really happy with them and I decided to come and do the blowing technique so here I come blowing my resin around and you know when I think about it for how much fiddle farting I do later on with my stick I should have just stopped now because I had some really elegant movement and lacing effects there, not that you can see due to the reflection. But, oh, geez, I find it so hard just to walk away, even though I've just walked off on the video once again. But no, I'll just be doing the same thing over on the other creation. I'll be back any second. Or should I cut this out too? Oh, no, I might cut that out. Oh no, I'm coming back, don't worry, here I come. I think I was just walking around the table the long way and I keep blowing and now I'm fiddling, lifting up the bits of resin that were coming through the glass and just adding more line work here, you know, as you can see, which would be interfering with any of the blowing procedure I did. So if you're gonna blow your resin like I did, don't go back and mix it up because you're just putting your face close to it for no reason. I was really happy with my end result and I come in and give you a show of that any second now and then I let it cure for about five hours just on this particular day until it was nice and bendy and here's the end result not of the it cured the end result of my pattern close up oh, yeah, and now goodness. let's go and have a look at the end Here result of the piece. I didn't show you it when I put it on this but I, I, I just some reason forgot to put the camera on but you know you saw me put it on the plastic and you saw how I rounded it out and I waited until the resin was just touch dry so and that meant that when I was touching it with my finger there was it felt a bit tacky but none of it was gripping onto my um, finger at all like there was no residual or no stretch whatsoever so this is it this is the nice vase I chose to put it on that's got a good grip on that so it's actually on a bowl 
on top of the vase and the bowl I liked because of its roundness you can see that it's offered a really nice shape and off we go oops I might move this glass so I don't tip it and here we go peeling the plastic off and it comes off quite effortlessly I hope you can see this oh you can't really let me move you back a bit and I'll make sure that I'm completely in view there we go No tears in the plastic and the bowl is looking pretty nice so it's quite big you can see like it's a good sized bowl I can put my whole fist into it and what I'll do is to finish it off I'll just go around with my um, craft knife and remove these little bits that have stretched out and do you like the patterning on it? It's nice, isn't it? Thanks, Sue. You've done it again. By the way, everyone, see how it's still a little bit pliable? That's because it's not really thick. And it's also because it's only sort of 12 hours after I've um, poured it and let it sit there. And it's a warm day. So this will get harder over the next three days. And um, it will be rock hard and awesome and glorious. Do you want to... ah! Guess I won't be using that mould again. Um, come in and have a look. Oh, I do experience a lot of issues, don't I? It's not just me.